consider you have a weight balance and in both weighing pans we have 5 kg put in you can see identical 5 kg blocks in both the weighing pans and that's why the balance indicator is at the center showing zero and not tilted to left or right since we have put equal weight in both the weighing pans now the question is how much weight should be added to either left or right weighing pan so that the indicator position remains identical. Now you would think about what kind of question this is. If I have to keep both the weights the same or the balance is identical and if I know that on both the sides we have 5 kg and 5 kg I shouldn't add anything at all on either of the balances and that is correct. I should add zero weight to the left or right in order to keep both the balances identical. Now what we did here is that we added something to the 5 kg on the left which was equal to the weight which was 5 kg on the right and this something was zero. Now this zero is called additive identity. So additive identity is a number which when added to any given number returns the same original number. So whenever somebody asks you what is the additive identity you will always say 0 simply means if you have any number a and if you add 0 to it will always get a. By the way just as a joke whenever I meet somebody younger than me I always tell them when they ask me about my age that I am 0 years older than you claiming I am as young as they are. Anyway, this was about additive identity. But as we come across different operations, we come across different identities like multiplicative identity. Now, what is the meaning of multiplicative identity? It is some number which is when multiplied with any given number A returns the same number. And the multiplicative identity is one for integers. So there are different kinds of identities. And for now we are studying about additive identity for integers which is zero. But why are we learning about additive identity and why should we give this special name to a number like zero which is an additive identity. Consider this is just like learning about rules of maths. If somebody is very new to math we want to know what numbers when added to something or multiplied to something do not change the result. Although as we study advanced math numbers other than zero are also additive or multiplicative identities. So learning about these terms like additive or multiplicative identities help us build the foundation to advanced math that we might want to study later.